All right, in this video, we're going to look over power and the calculations associated with how much energy electrical appliances use. So here's a picture of one of my heaters and its power rating is shown there in the red box, the 2000 to 2400 W thing. And the W stands for uh, watts and it's a unit of measurement associated with, with power. And what it's doing, right, when it says something like 2400 watts, is that it's a measure of speed, which is how fast that heater uses energy, right? Because it can't tell me on the label how much energy it's using because it doesn't know how often I'm using it or how long I'm turning it on for. So the best it can tell me isn't how much energy is being used, but how fast it's pulling energy, how fast it's using energy. Okay, so if we want to know how much energy I'm actually using, we need to also think about how long the appliance is left on for. Right? I think it intuitively make, makes sense that it matters how long I'm turning the heater on for to actually think about how much energy I'm using. So say, for example, I use this heater for three hours. Uh, in these calculations, uh, time will always, almost always, um, be measured in hours. And we just multiply those two. Right? It's a bit like speed multiplied by time, right? except this time it's a speed in terms of how fast my appliance is using energy. Okay, but it's it's really similar to speed, the way you want to think about it. All right. So you multiply those two, we get 7,200. Well, what's our unit for energy? We sort of make up our own here, just for convenience sake, right? We have watts on the left, we have hours on the right, and they literally combine to watt hours, right? And it's abbreviated, again, just combine those two as WH. And that gives us a really convenient way to think about it. The energy that I'm using is just the power multiplied by the time. Okay, and the power is measured in units like watts or sometimes kilowatts. That just means a thousand watts, right? So that 2400 would be 2.4 kilowatts. And time is measured in hours and we'll always want it to be. So if it's not, then we'll convert it to hours. And the energy unit will be either watt hours or kilowatt hours depending on uh, where we started all right and often in electricity bills they charge you a certain amount per kilowatt hour used okay so let's see an example of that <clears throat> it says in a household of four each member uses an average of 13 minutes of hot water per day and the household uses a nine kilowatt hot water unit and electricity is charged at 11.97 cents per kilowatt hour when the hot water unit's being used. What's the electricity cost for the hot water <clears throat> used by this household in one week? All right, so what you'll find is the calculations in this topic, and actually a lot of this course, the calculations are very easy. All right, it's just straight multiplications or adding or dividing, uh, but it's more in interpreting and pulling apart the story. That's what you've got to be get 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 yourself good at right so uh the first thing to notice is that time is being measured in minutes see there's 13 minutes there right but in these calculations we want to measure time in hours so a minute is 1 60th of an hour so we really have 13 over 60 hours and that's how you want to think about the time that it's being used for it's 13 out of 60 hours the power rating is 9 kilowatts, and so each person will use, in terms of now energy, we multiply the power by the time. Notice again, in the time, we've divided by 60 to turn the minutes to hours. 9 is kilowatts, uh, the 13 over 60 is now hours, so the unit of energy is, and you calculate that, 1.95 kilowatt hours per day. Now, it says a household of four. So uh, with four people, we must, we must multiply that number then by four. And so the whole family would use a total of, multiply in your calculator, 7.8 kilowatt hours per day. Now, we're being asked uh, how much is being used in one week. So per week, we better multiply that number by seven and we get 54.6 kilowatt hours per week. 
And finally, to know what the cost is, well, it's being charged at a rate of 11.97 cents per kilowatt hour, right? And we've got 54.6 kilowatt hours, so you want to think of it as each of those kilowatt hours costs $0.1197, just turning the cents to dollars. And so for the total cost, we multiply 54.6 by that amount, and we get a total of $6.54. Okay, and so that's how you sort through those calculations. Make sure you've used it, um, or you've at least looked at every bit of information. Sometimes there'll be irrelevant things, right? But most of the time, uh, most of the numbers given to you and most of the information will be relevant. And so make sure you've read through it carefully, right? And you've made use of um, all the bits of information given to you in the question. Okay, so read it carefully, pick it apart, and then see what you need to do with that. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.